guy is deluded. Now, I rate Jao Virginia very highly as a goalie. He has whether whether he goes and achieves what I think he can do in his career is all is all on him. He's eighteen. He turns nineteen next year. He's gonna have to step up into the under twenty threes. There's a lot of keepers. I don't feel there's much keepers at this club better than him. There's not. I think he's best at this club in my opinion. These with the young keepers, but there's a lot of young keepers on the books, and he's predominantly played for the under twenty three. So naturally, you need to step up and assert yourself at that level. So that's the goal for next year. Um, it, I guess it won't be quite like Chesney because at eighteen, Chesney was at Brentford and them things there. Um, but. I do think he could have a similar rise to Chesney. Like I said, he's still raw. There's several things he needs to pattern up and he's not the finished article. But he does excite me. Like, it's very rarely, like I said in the last vid, very rarely does a keeper over two games concede seven goals and I rate him highly. He's a good shot stopper. He's good at tipping over the bar. He's very agile. He's good at collecting crosses. He can improve in that aspect. He's good at punching crosses, which again, he can improve in that aspect. He's still a young, a young boy. He's got a he's got a voice on him. He's not scared to tell his, his defenders and team what he thinks, but he needs to improve in that, in my opinion. But we've got a very good keeper. Now, the problem now is immediately at first team level, we need a keeper. We need a top quality keeper. Whether you're going to spend, which which we can't, the mad fees to get them, or you're going to find someone competent and good enough, whether that's someone in the prime of their career or someone that's got youth on their side similar to him, like LaFont, which I'm all up for. If we're going to do that, it could be tricky. Now, LaFont is sick. LaFont's better than him, but they're very, what, they're like 18, 19 and 20, 18 to 20. Let's just call them 18 to 20. They're very similar for ages, different development stages. So LaFont, Zhao, both fighting for a first team spot in tech five years or so from now, um, provided they're both in their prime and they and Zhao goes the way I think he could be. It could be an interesting proposition or he just in the side, regardless, it could be an interesting proposition um, for them. Now, I am scared about the pathway as well, because if we were to sign, let's just say, extreme case we signed, it will never happen. But O Black, them keepers, then then Joel basically has no, 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 no chance. We need a keeper immediately at first team, but I do want to keep the pathway level because between Ospina not being good enough, Czech sadly being past it, Matt Macy at 24 years of age, he's going to need to play. I do think he's a decent keeper, but he's going to need to go out on loan and play some football or just stay and keep doing what he's doing. Martinez, I don't know if he has a career here. Does and then there's you've got you've got Kato, you've got Ilev, you've got several keepers just Hodar, several keepers just on the book float books floating at the club. So that needs to be sorted out. Um, there's also I've heard rumors that Napoli are interested in him. So I mean, if I was him, I'd consider that if I'm a, in my opinion. But he's decent, man. He's got to be the third choice keeper at this club before long, man. Like there's a good chance, in my opinion, um, he makes he has to make the bench at least in, as a reserve keeper or sign. So that's him. I rate him highly. Another keeper as well that I rate highly, Arthur Okonku. 15 years of age, turning 16, I believe, or he's 16 now. Played against Blackpool in the FA Cup. Like um, Saka, um, he will turn scholar next year, um, well, next season. I'm actually surprised he didn't make the Under-17 World, World Cup, World Cup Euro squad, along with the other six Arsenal players. But yeah... He's a keeper I rate highly. He's someone that they see as someone that has genuine first-team potential. He's someone that they want to keep the pathway closed for. He's eligible to play for either England at full international level or Nigeria, I believe. What concerns me is that he hasn't allegedly, or as far as I know, there's rumours that he hasn't agreed his scholarship. So if he hasn't, he's eligible to go elsewhere. Celtic won him. You can see why. Leipzig won him. You can see why. You want to keep the best players at your club. You want to have the pathway at your club. He's six foot five. He can improve his handling. But he's a player with good pedigree and that could be someone. Between him and Jao Virginia, you want to keep them because they're probably the only two keepers I think are worth looking at at this club, to be honest. I've got, I think Macy's all right, but he's, he can't be considered young, really. Young for a keeper, but he's not a young pro anymore. So, yeah, man, if he does leave, it'll be a kick in the teeth. If he, if he does deem that the pathway isn't here for him, then fair play. Can't lie, if I was him, like you've seen with... Um, a couple of our players that go off to, um, when they don't sign a scholar here, they go off to Liverpool. But I was saying, I consider that. Liverpool got a couple quality keepers on their books. But if you look at first team level, there's carriers and things like that. And if he's got the potential like a lot of people think he does, and I think he does, the pathway is, is clear there. You will not get first team football any anytime soon. And they probably could buy a keeper and will buy a keeper before long. But there's a pathway there if you don't feel it's as clear at Arsenal. Obviously, from a selfish point of view, I hope, hope a man commits his future to, the, to this club. But it is what it is. If he doesn't deem his future's best served here, then he's got to take development into his own hands or whatever. But on that note, I'm out. There's nothing further for me to say. Guys, deluded. Get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest. I'm out. Thank you for watching and rocking.